Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and today I thought we'd take a quick look, this is sort of by request, uh, at the NVIDIA Installer Tool. Now, the NVIDIA Installer Tool is a fairly simple tool. It does one thing, it installs NVIDIA drivers uh, from packages available in the MX and or Debian repositories. That password was my administrator password. We are installing new packages, so that's going to require some root privileges. So I'm going to scroll up here. So there's some information that comes up. Now I got my text a little big so everybody can see it but in the video. But basically what we got here is a bunch of information. It tells you just what kernel we're running. I'm running 6.12.8. This is the Debian backported kernel. Um, be honest, right now I'm having a little bit of issues with 6.12 and Lecorex kernels. Uh, I think the uh, 6.12.7 I think was okay. Um, uh, uh, but 6.12.8 on the Lecoric side wasn't working quite right. So anyway, I'm using the Debian one. Uh, that, that'll that probably come and go, but it, it's neither here nor there for the purposes of this video. So you some information. It's going to get in stored in a log file that's accessible from Quick System Info. It's going to tell you how to restore your open source drivers if everything goes haywire. Um, it will tell you again, and it will also put a file in your home folder with that information in it so that if you get really hosed and can't get back to a desktop that information is accessible. Why is this a command? Why don't we can't you just launch it again from the menu? Because if this fails it's unless you're on Optimus graphics, hybrid graphics, it's likely you won't get to a desktop. You can run that command from uh, a console prompt. So you can log in at a text console and run that command. Okay so we're gonna update sources. Sure go ahead update sources. And it tells us that here's our card that it found. I have a 3050 Ti Mobile in here. And you can use the Tesla 470 drivers or the the latest ones we have are the 535.216.03 drivers. And this DDMMX, which is the program utility, that's the NVIDIA installer in the menu, it installs on a package level. It's going to use app for everything. So it's just going to be it's helping you install the right package for your your card. Okay. So it tells you the candidate. It tells you what's installed, which is none right now. If you have, do I, it's going to ask, if it detects more than one graphics card, it's going to ask you if you have an Intel, an NVIDIA, well, if it detects Intel, it's going to ask you if it's a NVIDIA slash Intel system. It We've discovered that while you should be able to do this automatically, um, uh, it's it's the the detection method. Really, we're gonna ask. If you're on a laptop, it's almost certainly Optimus Graphics. If this question comes up, if you're on a desktop, it might not be. Uh, pro pro in fact, it probably isn't. Uh, it's just it's really hard to tell to know for sure. Particularly the way that sometimes the graphics cards report themselves. So I'm gonna say yes because it is Optimus. The nice thing about uh, the way this works now that you don't need any special Bumblebee drivers, if you've seen that online or anything like that, is that uh, if your laptop supports a discrete graphics mode, these drivers are going to work for that too. You don't have to do anything different except switch it in your BIOS, which is nice. Um, so this is going to tell you how to start your driver on, a, on an application if it's Optimus. If, if you're on discrete graphics, you're not going to get this prompt. If you are on Optimus, it's going to do some checks to make sure, but everything on Debian 12 works this way uh, and up. Uh, you can use our utility called NVIDIA Run MX to start an application with the NVIDIA graphics mode enabled. I'll show you that after the reboot, after we get done installing drivers. I'm just going to install the drivers right now. So I'm going to say yes. And it is going to do the apt install thing. It actually it scrolled by very fast, but it actually gave me the install command that it's going to be used to, to do the install. Well, I can scroll up and show you. It actually gives you the uh, install command that it's using. Here it is, a video command. Let me, uh, my hand is shaky. To install those things. It's going to install the CUDA libraries too, for those of you that are interested in that. And it's going to bring down all the parts. It's going to make sure that the, the pre-built stuff is there, the kernel, the headers for the kernel. Okay, uh, build essential, a few other things, um, to make sure the module can be built. Now, in the middle of this, you're going to get a thing that says, hey, the free Nuvu kernel module is currently loaded. Sure, because I'm using the open source drivers. Those are built into the kernel. 
and it conflicts with the non-free NVIDIA kernel module. Yes, it does, which is because one's in the kernel and one's not. The easiest way to fix this is to reboot the machine once installation is finished. It's just telling you what to do. It is not a problem. This is a known thing. Click next. Off it goes, doing its thing, installing the drivers. Now it's going to install this for every kernel that you have. Um, and if if and if it's going to fail, it, this is where it's going to fail. It's going to fail on the building of the module. The NVIDIA drivers have to be have to have uh, the the current driver version has to be package whatever has to be has to have support for the current kernel or the driver or the, the modules may not build um nvidia doesn't always do that for earlier kernels they tend to keep up with their later drivers and later kernels but not necessarily later drivers and earlier kernels and also not earlier drivers and later kernels which is sort of kind of what we have here uh the the drivers new ish Okay, I think most people are trying to use 550. I've seen 560 and 565 out in the wild. We're still at 535. So we we patch our our Nvidia drivers for our newer kernels so that they will will work and build properly. So any any kernel we have that we're supplying and any Nvidia driver package that we have that we're supplying should build with a possible exception if you're doing one of the legacy patches on a, a legacy drivers on a very new kernel. That, that might not work. Um, we try, but sometimes the kernels outpace the, the legacy parts. But I'm of the opinion that if you're on the legacy NVIDIA driver, you, there's not much point in operating on the 612, on anything other than the 6.1 LTS kernel right now. And that one works fine. So at any rate, too much information? Maybe. But I needed to say something while this module build continues because the module build takes forever uh, to do. Like I said, it's going to do this for every kernel you have. I have two kernels installed right now, 612.8 and 612.7-2 Lecorix. Uh, those both work with the NVIDIA drivers. I had a little bit of issue with 6.12.8 which on the, on the Lecorix side, which is why I don't, I don't have that right now. Okay, so there you go. Now it's copying the modules over to where they go in the file system tree. And really, if you've got to this stage, you're probably in the clear. At least from the module building standpoint. Okay, building the RAM drives for the initial RAM drives for both of the, the uh, kernels that I have. And we should be just about done and ready for a reboot. And remember, the driver won't go into effect until we reboot. Okay, so now we are. It's giving us the information here. To, if we need to back it up and, and undo it, we can. Uh, we need. We, it's given us a link to a help page that if you need to run it, and it's telling you where the information that all that information was written to your home folder in a way that use regular users can get to it, just in case you need a little cut and paste action. Okay, pressing enter to exit, and that's fine. I'm going to crack open another terminal with my favorite control alt t version mode there we go. and just to show you right now it should be Novo graphics and intel graphics yes it is uh, because i am running optimus graphics on an intel machine so i'm going to do a quick reboot i'm going to show you that information what it looks like on the after the nvidia drivers are installed okay we're back after a reboot and i'm back here on my in my terminal i have xi slash g to show you the graphics and information you can see NVIDIA, we got the, the regular Intel driver module, because again, this machine, Optimus Hyper Graphics. So how do I get, but you can see by default, it's using the Intel as the renderer. How can I change that? Um, there's a couple ways. The Debian Wiki, which I will put a, a, a link for in the notes below, gives you a couple commands that you can put in, like a couple environment variables, basically, that you can put into things like Steam command prompts so that your games launch with NVIDIA graphics enabled. Okay. Uh, we use the same thing with a utility called um, uh, NVIDIA Run MX, which just, th these are the, these are the, these are the environment variables that it, that are in question okay and these long slash these are actually two underscores put together uh, they don't render quite right uh, on the screen but 
those are the variables you give that before you launch a command, and then your app will run. And if it supports it, we'll use the graphics acceleration on the NVIDIA part, on the NVIDIA card. So I can show you that right now, very quickly, just with the INXI output. Uh, slash uh, INXI slash G. And there you can see now my driver says, uh, well, the driver always said NVIDIA. The renderer now says NVIDIA graphics for the renderer. So as long as the environment variables are there and you launch your application with those variables or with the e quick and easy with NVIDIA Run MX, then uh, the, the, it should use the NVIDIA parts uh, for the graphics rendering. There's one more other little tit helper program that's with it. Um, NVIDIA Detect MX is a slight modification from the usual NVIDIA detection program because it is set up. That one will work with Debian's repositories. Uh, okay, but this one will work with MX repositories and it gives you a little more information. It'll tell you every driver that's in the repository that your card supports. So that's the NVIDIA driver tool. Hopefully that helps some of you out who had questions about installing NVIDIA drivers. In my next video, it's going to be a little more hack and a little more uh, advanced. This is actually relatively easy. Uh, the next one's going to be a little trickier, uh, and we'll get our command line foo on for that one. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.